Good morning friends and welcome back to Seasonal Living with Leo. If you're new here, I post videos all about cozy, creative, intentional living and I would love it if you would join the family. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know that my aesthetic for Christmas this year is going to be changing. I've had the same old aesthetic, um, sort of the red, gold and white for many, many years now. And I've decided to change to a different theme altogether. The inspiration for the aesthetic this year that I'm having this Christmas is more of a story and more of a feeling than actually just like specific colours. So I'm going to set the scene for you. Just imagine that Molly Weasley has gone with her, the Weasley family, up to Scotland to go and visit her brother and his Scottish wife. And they have a lodge up in the Highlands. And it's going to be... Um, it's going to have all the colours of reds and greens and gold. We're talking candlelight, we're talking cinnamon sticks and orange slices and orange pomanders and cranberry garlands and all the kind of natural old fashioned Christmas decorations and that is kind of what I'm going for this year. So we're going to mix some of the old, some of the new and I think it's going to be a really lovely cozy warm Christmas and that is really what I was after this year. So in today's video we're going to be making some of the Christmas decorations that we'll be using for the mantelpiece, for the sideboard, for my kitchen, for the Christmas tree and some of them are inspired by Victorian Christmases. I think they're going to go really well with the aesthetic and I hope you enjoy this video and I hope that you make some for yourself. The upside of making Christmas decorations like this is that they are really, really cost effective. They are natural, they can be used year after year and they are very cosy. I hope that you enjoy this video. So let's get into crafting. The first thing we're going to be making is these gilded walnuts. I had hubby remove the walnuts from the shells very carefully so as not to damage the outer shell of the nut. And I painted these last night and let them dry um, and I'll just show you what paint I use and I'll leave it down in the description below. But you can use any kind of spray paint or even some glue and some glitter just to make them sparkle and shine on your Christmas tree. Hanging these literally couldn't be easier. You just make a little hanger with some ribbon and you hot glue it on the inside of the walnut halves. You put some glue around the edges of the walnut halves and you just hold them together until the glue is dry. Really, really easy and quick as well. Next we'll be making some orange slice decorations. What you'll need is some dried orange slices. I'll leave a video link down below where you can learn how to make these for yourself like I have. You'll also need some cloves, cinnamon sticks, star anise, a hot glue gun, some ribbon or some twine and a little bit of creativity. This really couldn't be easier. You're going to thread through some twine or some ribbon through the top of your orange slices and then you're going to use the hot glue gun to glue on some star anise or you can push some cloves through the, the orange slices at intervals depending on what kind of pattern you like or you can use some of the twine or the ribbon to attach bits of cinnamon sticks to the top or the bottom.
lovely thing about these orange slice decorations is that when the light shines through them, they give off such a beautiful glow, like little suns on your Christmas tree. Next we're going to make some clove studded oranges. These are also known as pomanders and they were also used during Victorian Christmas decorating. They couldn't be simpler. All you'll need is some oranges, some whole cloves and a toothpick to poke some holes in the oranges to make it easier to insert your cloves. The pattern you use is really up to you and there is no right or wrong way to do this. It's just a fun, relaxing activity. And the scent is absolutely incredible. My husband walked into the living room and he said, wow, it smells like Christmas in here. Next we'll be making some hanging pomanders. These are essentially clove studded oranges that have ribbon tied around them so that they can hang on the tree. It looks like a bit of a fiddly job and it is a little bit of a fiddly job but once you've got the hang of it, it's fairly easy. You'll also notice that I'm threading through a piece of twine so that I can hang the pomander from the tree. Don't leave out this step, otherwise you'll have pomanders that are great for decorating in floral displays, but you won't be able to hang them on the tree. The process for making cranberry garlands couldn't be easier. You'll need some embroidery floss, a needle and some cranberries. And you thread the cranberries through until you have a garland as long as you would like. Hello again friends. 
thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this Christmas crafting session and I hope that you'll try some of the decorations for yourself. If you haven't yet subscribed, I would appreciate it if you did. And if you like this video, if you can give it a thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up on this channel soon. There's going to be lots of Christmassy content. I've got some shorts coming up. I've got my Christmas decorating video. And I've also got the Christmas hot chocolate video, which is an exciting collaboration. Coming up in December, there'll be a trip into London to go and see the Christmas lights and to go and see some of the big, gorgeous decorations at Harrods. There will also be a Christmas visit to the German Christmas markets coming up. So I can't wait to share all of it with you. And I hope that you will come along with me. Until next time, friends, keep calm and be cozy.